This is the Usteam E6 Pro, a $280 18.5-inch monitor with a touchscreen at 120Hz. Let's check it out. First on unboxing, the box is plain white and it actually doesn't have any distinguishing marks. It's the same as what you would find in actually most other products. So here, it, it seems like it's a bit torn over here. First, we have the user manual for this 18.5 inch 1080p touchscreen monitor. I would be interested to see how high the brightness goes on this. We'll put that aside and we'll take this out and kind of heavy, but let's look at what else we have inside the box. So as a standard for you, perfect. I'm beginning to see a pattern. They provide lots and lots of cables, which is very, very nice. So they provide a HDMI cable over here. We also have a USB-C to a USB-C cable over here as well. Another USB-C to a USB-A cable, and then another USB-C to USB-C cable. And what is this? This is an HDMI to a micro HDMI. Uh, over there and I wonder what this is I think it's a power brick most likely so let's take a look and I was right we he have here the power brick but I will put that back because I have a million of these so let's put all this stuff away and look at the tablet or not the tablet the screen itself this is the actual screen itself I very much like that they have a vase mount over here there is an adjustable kickstand that goes all the way around this way as well and when you flip it up this way, it actually reveals a couple of things over here. As you can see, there is a power button over here. There is also a menu selector and finally a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on this side, we have a uh, micro HDMI uh, port as well as two USB-C ports over here. And that rounds out all of the ports on this device. Okay, so I've plugged this device into my laptop and now you're going to see it's a touch screen. The brightness is not super bright. From what I estimate, it seems to be around 250 nits. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a YouTube video, the one that I usually do, the 4K version of that. So as you can see, it's a touch screen. It works quite well. 1080p, which is a little bit low. You know what? It should be fine because most people still have 22 inch devices that are 4K but uh, otherwise it's fine. So just now you could tell that the touch screen, I think the touch sensor isn't very big. So I'm just gonna go back a little bit, but the touch sensor isn't very big. I don't think it matches the size of the display. So the touch sensitivity is not amazing. So it's, uh, it's reminds me of the old tablets that I used to have where the touch sensitivity wasn't very, very uh, good. And as a result, you started seeing um, missed touches, for example, I scrolled and then it, ac it accidentally went into there. So I'm going to hit this and we are going to max the video out. And this is a 1080p display, but I'm going to play it at 4K and we'll see how good it looks. Okay, so from where I stand, it seems to me like this device over here is trying to do HDR but it seems like the HDR is kind of fake. It, they kind of oversaturate everything. So you can compare even to the left side on my device. You can see that the colors are more vibrant on this one, but at the same time, they look really, really oversaturated. So I'm gonna go into the settings to see if I can play around with it and see if there's anything that can be done to see if, if it, this can be brought into its neutral state. So that actually seems to have fixed it. It looks a lot more natural. It seems like this is what the device uh, screen actually looks like without some crazy over-processing. I gotta say it looks a lot better this way, right? You can see that the colors on this one, they are more vivid compared to what you have on my laptop screen. And I gotta say the viewing angles are quite good. You can't really see, but I'm actually walking around right now looking at it from this side over here. And then I'm moving over to this side and the viewing angles here are actually decent. They're about the same as the laptop. And you can see that the colors are brighter than this, even without that crazy Ultra HDR mode on. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to try and see if I can turn the brightness up. So brightness is currently at 30, right? So let's turn that all the way up to 100. 
There we go. So let's turn this one up. Oh, sorry. We'll turn this one up as well. So this laptop is capable of about 300 nits of brightness. We compare it to this and I would say it looks about the same actually. So it seems like this one is 300 nit brightness screen as well. And I gotta say it looks pretty decent. Uh, you're not gonna be able to use this outdoors unfortunately, but then again, this is what you get over here. I'll talk a little bit more about this device while I play Hearthstone on this gigantic 18.5 inch display. It does have a 16 millisecond response time, so just keep that in mind. When you're playing this, realistically, 16 milliseconds is very slow. That's like TV level response time. But then again, this is a very cheap device, right? $280, that's not much for what you get, right? You get 120 hertz display, um, touch screen, as well as a, um, as well as a free sync as well. So uh, the touch screen, as you can probably tell, is not super, is not super uh, responsive. So I'm gonna touch this really lightly. You'll notice that there's, there's no response, right? Like this, if I touch it really lightly. But once I do this, I press and hold and I touch it very hard then it responds, right? So see that? I did that and it kind of didn't respond the first time and I touched and nothing happened. So that if you want to play video games using the touchscreen, don't, don't get this. So like, there's no really no reason to have to use this touchscreen. So what I would say that this is okay for games is 280 bucks. But then again, uh, what I do recommend is to check out the link in the video description below because there's actually a, another device from Uperfect that costs $230, so you save about 50 bucks. It's also 18 inch, right? It's $230, it's also 120 hertz, it's just missing two things, and one is the touch like this, and the second is free sync, which realistically, do you really care if there's a 16 millisecond response time and it's 1080p? Probably not. So, um, I mean, if you do want a touch screen, yeah, sure, you can get this, but I, you know what? If I were you, I would not. I would actually get the, uh, non touchscreen version it is cheaper so i would much prefer you get that because in my opinion it's just much more value for money unless you specifically need a touch screen so um anyway still very happy about this um, i did confirm that the brightness of this display is 300 nits so there is that um, so yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one what's up is down what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end but we'll see